off to sleep by closer to the sun. It was dark. The entire apple house was silent as the darkness cloaked it. The only visible light came from the windows, with Luna's waning moon offering a meagre nightlight to those still awake at the early morning hour. However, the light wasn't enough for a small yellow filly. Her mind had woken up against her wishes. With her eyes open, she saw some of the moonlight enter her room, but it did nothing to help her. She clutched her quilt and stuffed dragon plushie tightly in hopes it would offer comfort. Her racing mind refused to let her go back to sleep. Sitting up in her bed, she looked towards the window. A gentle breeze was blowing by. The faint sound was barely audible over her own breathing. She could faintly smell the morning, which would normally be a calming scent, but not now. The filly turned to look at her bedroom door. It was open and led into the pitch black hallway. Silently, she climbed down from her bed onto the floor. The squeaky floorboards echoed as she stepped down, causing her heart to jump. With her hooves, she grabbed both her pillow and her plush and journeyed down through the doorway and into the darkened hall. Very little was visible in the hall. A few other doors were open. A weak stream of moonlight came out from a few of the doors, providing just enough light for the filly. Nevertheless, she took her time, carefully taking each step towards her predetermined destination. The only sound were each of her hoof steps against the aging floorboards. Each step rang out like thunder in her mind. Finally, she reached the door at the end of the hall. It was slightly ajar. Carefully, she pressed her hoof against the door, opening it. Inside, the small amount of moonlight from the window illuminated the room. The filly didn't need to examine the room, as she knew it well. Her eyes were set on the bed in front of her, and the pony that rested on it. She quietly trotted up to the bed. A large stallion was lying on the bed, wrapped up in the quilts and a nightcap resting at the top of his head and resting peacefully. The filly felt bad for disturbing him. With the hoof holding the plush, she poked at the stallion. It took a few tries, but she managed to wake him. The stallion opened his eyes to reveal a filly standing at the side of his bed. Her giant pink burr might not have been on her head, but he knew his youngest sister anywhere. Her face was both tired and distressed. <sighs> Apple Bloom, he weakly spoke in his low voice. I had a bad dream, she softly said, almost as if she was guilty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He rubbed his eyes he sat up a little in his bed. Can I s sleep with you, Big Mac? Apple Bloom asked. Of course, Big Mac said as he scooted his body back to make room for her. His answer seemed to make the filly smile as she climbed up onto his bed. She made herself comfortable on top of the quilt that covered her brother and placed her pillow up against Big Mac's body. It's been a while since you've done this, Big Mac commented in a jerking manner. Apple Bloom didn't find it amusing as she clutched her dragon plush tighter. The stallion realised his blunder. He then asked, What was your nightmare about? I don't want to talk about it, Apple Bloom said sourly. You sure, Apple Bloom? Big Mac asked. It might make you feel better. She was quiet. <sighs> It was just a dumb nightmare is all. Doesn't sound dumb to me. Again, Apple Bloom made a sour expression. However, it turned into worry. I was frightened by my dream. It was about Applejack. This got 
Big Mac's attention. Applejack? She's always away now, doing stuff for her friends. Dangerous stuff. Apple Bloom continued. And I'm scared that something might... might happen to her. Applejack and all her friends are always risking themselves for us and... and was this in your dream? Apple Bloom nodded. It was enough for Big Mac to feel her body move. You don't need to worry about it. Your sis is a strong pony, and her friends got her back, just like she's got theirs. Big Mac said calmly. But, but what if Queen Chrysalis comes back, or if she joins Forest of King Somber and attacks every pony? Or if those mean old dragons attack Pony Barrel, or if that Tanabus thing comes back and haunts her pony's nightmares again? Oh, and, and what about Discord? He could do Celestia knows what to us. Apple Bloom began frantically listing a number of possible scenarios. And I, I don't even want to think about what might happen to Applejack. Big Mac was silent after Apple Bloom finished speaking. She turned up to look at her older brother. As she did so, he spoke softly. Ever since that narrow moon business a while back, I've been scared for Applejack too. Frightens me of what might happen. It always does. But do you want to know what keeps my spirits up? What's that? Apple Bloom asked, looking towards her brother. It's knowing that Applejack isn't alone. She's out there helping every pony in need because she knows it's the right thing to do. And each time she's out of risking life and limb, she's got the rest to back her up. That's all she could ask for. She does? Big Mac nodded. That she does. In fact, you could say Applejack's friends are a lot like your friends. Dedicated, loyal, Kind, brave, and all round good ponies. A small smile appeared on Apple Bloom's face as she thought about the other Cutie Mac Crusaders. However, her thoughts came back to her and her worries got the best of her. But what if the Diamond Dogs catch her again? And before she can get rescued, a dragon comes and carries her away to a boat in the middle of the ocean, and the boat hits an iceberg and sinks, and piranhas show up and attack! The stallion couldn't help but smile at the little filly's overactive imagination. Worrying about the what ifs ain't gonna help. I know. I just. I just don't wanna lose her. Big Mac's demeanor dropped as he watched the worry. I know. Me neither. The silence returned to the air. You know. I bet Applejack is just as scared for us as we are for her. Big Mac broke the stillness. Huh? Applejack is a tough pony, but she doesn't always be like that. In fact, she used to ask to sleep in my bed just like you when she had a bad dream. Big Mac exclaimed. The surprise Apple Bloom. She did? It's true. And I can tell you what I told her. It's natural to be afraid. If you ain't at least a little bit afraid, there must be something wrong. But to ward off that fear you got, you gotta learn to be brave. Big Mac's voice was hushed, as if he was whispering a secret to his sister. It's not easy, not in the least. But you gotta have courage. And you gotta have a little faith. Apple Bloom repeated what her brother said to herself. Courage. Granny Smith told me something once. And I'm sure she told it to Applejack too. It's that the night might be long. But the dawn always comes. I guess I never really thought about all that much. Until all that scary stuff started happening. The stallion mused as he closed his eyes. Your sister is a brave one, that I know. And while she might not show it, she's also afraid. 
She doesn't want to think about what might happen if she or her friends fail when it comes to the fate of all Equestria. She goes on despite any all fear she has, even if she's outclassed. Honestly, if that ain't courage, I don't know what is. Uh, I, I never thought about it like that. Apple Bloom was dumbfounded. A little bravery is all you need to not let the fear get the best of you, Big Mac concluded. I know you got a lot of courage in that little body of yours. You're an apple after all. Apple Bloom smiled. Hey, Big Mac. Mm hmm? Thank you. I'm sorry for waking you up like this. The stallion playfully tussled his sister's mane with one of his hooves. What are big brothers for? A soft smile appeared on her face as she made herself more comfortable against his quilt coated body. She tightened her hold on her plush. We both should try to get off to sleep. We both got a big day in the morning, Big Mac said softly. Okay, Apple Bloom quietly replied. A few moments later she spoke again. Hey Big Mac, could you sing me the lullaby? The lullaby? You mean the one that Applejack used to sing to you? Apple Bloom nodded. Yeah, that one. But I'm not as good as Applejack for that song. Please? Big Mac couldn't help but oblige. Alright, but remember, I'm not great at singing it. It's okay. Closing his eyes, the stallion started to softly sing. Here's a song for you to sleep to Rest your weary legs and fall asleep Go and be so strong in dreams Go and be so strong in dreams With a little light in the room, Big Mac could see that this a cappella singing was indeed soothing his little sister. I have found the notes that heal I can name them at your legs Go and be strong in dreams Here's a song for you to sleep to Rest your weary legs and drift away Gonna be so strong in dreams Go and be so strong in dreams Apple Bloom had drifted off to sleep A small, peaceful smile on her face Good night, Apple Bloom. See you in the morning.